All right, lastly, we're going to talk about the last type of transfer of thermal energy, which is called radiation. Radiation is the process by which heat is transferred in the form of electromagnetic waves. Basically, radiation is the heat you feel when you go out into the sun at, let's say, 2 p.m., and you can feel the sun's heat on your skin. This is the light from the sun hitting your skin and converting into heat energy there. Because it is in the form of electromagnetic waves, it does not require any medium to transfer. It can take place in a vacuum. That's why the sun can pass heat through the vacuum of space all the way to the earth. In general, a good emitter of radiation is also a good absorber of radiation. We'll talk more about that soon. So let's talk about the rate of heat transfer by radiation. How do you pass heat faster, pass heat slower by radiation? It depends on three factors. The color of the surface, the temperature of the surface, and the surface area or roughness of the surface. One example is up above. If you have a can and you paint one side to be shiny and the other side to be dull. Dull means a rough surface. If you put boiling water into the can, if you put your hands at equal distances from the can, the hand near to the dull black side would feel hotter. This is because if it's a rougher surface, it would be a better emitter of radiation. If it's a shiny surface, it would be a worse emitter of radiation. So to summarize, the rate of heat transfer by radiation depends on three factors, the color of the surface, the surface temperature, and surface area or roughness. A rougher surface has more area. So if you want a high rate of heat transfer, either of absorption of radiation or emission of radiation, you should use a black surface, a high difference in surface temperature, and a bigger surface area, and also a rougher surface area. If you want a low rate of heat transfer of radiation, you should use white or silvery color. You should have a low difference in surface temperature and you should also have a smaller surface area or make it shiny or smooth. Over here is an elephant. It has big ears for many reasons, but one of them is that it provides a large surface area for the giant mammal to cool off quickly in hot weather. So this large surface area of the ears actually um, allows for a better emission of radiation. The greater the surface area of the object, the faster will be the rate of heat transfer from it. And also, if the temperature of the object is higher, it means it will have a bigger difference from the environment. So, so the rate of heat transfer from it would also be faster. It is quite a common question. They will show you a Bunsen burner and okay, there'll be a plate painted white and polished, which means shiny, and there'll be a plate painted black and dull, which means rough surface. And then there will be a cork held by um, solidified wax over here, and there will be a cork held by solidified wax over here as well. These two plates will be placed equidistant from the Bunsen burner, and they'll ask you which cork would fall off first. The correct answer is that the cork on the dull black plate would fall off first. This is because dull black surfaces are much better absorbers of radiation than shiny white plates. In general, good emitters are also good absorbers. The black plate can emit radiation very well, but it can also absorb radiation very well. The white plate is a poor emitter of radiation, but it is also a poor absorber of radiation. So what are the uses of good and poor emitters? Good emitters are used in situations where heat has to be quickly emitted. In the back of your fridge, you should be able to see this thing, which is a bunch of cooling fins at the back of a refrigerator, and they are painted dull black. A refrigerator works by using these cooling fins to transfer heat from inside the refrigerator out. These fins would be better suited to its purpose if it could lose energy fastest. Therefore, they are painted dull black so that they can be better emitters of radiation and radiate heat faster. Why do you think your metal teapots are shiny? These surfaces are poor emitters of radiation, which means the metal teapot, once it contains your nice hot tea, will not cool down so fast because the shiny part emits radiation at a slower rate. 
so you will be able to enjoy your hot tea for a longer time. Heat absorbers are used in situations where heat has to be quickly absorbed. So, solar heating panels are always dull and black, as you can see here, so they can absorb radiation from the sun faster. Now, houses in hot countries are always painted white or pastel. For example, if you look at the HDB blocks in Singapore, if you're in hot weather, you will likely choose light colors for your clothes and for your cars. This is so that in the day, they absorb radiation at a slower rate from the sun and therefore they will become less hot.